Hello everyone, this video is going to talk about the pressure loss in a piping system due to a change in elevation. Some people call this a, a, a head loss, a head pressure loss or something to that effect. So let's say we have a, a riser that's going up 30 feet and at the bottom of the riser we have a pressure P1 and at the top of the riser we have a pressure P2. So we can use equation 4 from page 4-46, section 4, chapter 2 of the SFP handbook, 4th edition. Uh, this equation here, where the change in pressure, P1 minus P2, is equal to rho GH, or the density times the acceleration of gravity times the change in height. So if we assume we're using water at 60 degrees Fahrenheit, we can put in the constants of density and gravity and get pressure is equal to 0 0.433 times the change in height. And this would be the change in pressure uh, delta P. So we can work and we're with this set of or this constant we need H in terms of feet and our pressure will be in terms of PSI. So once again these are English units so we'll have delta P is equal to 0 0.433 times 30 which is equal to 12.99 which is nominally equal to 13 PSI 12.99 is a lot of decimal places to be carrying for this type of assumption with water being equal to temperature of water being equal to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So I hope you found this video useful and have a good day.